Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at a utility called Save Desktop, which is a utility for Linux, which allows you to save various settings of your desktop environment. So here we've got it on the screen. I have already made a couple of changes to it, but uh, basically what you do is you set a file name, you tell it what to include in the archive, in this case, I've selected all of the options. I've enabled periodic saving. And you can do it daily, weekly, monthly, or never. As well as selecting a location for that save file to go to. You can import a configuration from another computer or you can sync across the network. So let's jump over to our other Linux Mint machine and take a look real quick. So here is a more or less fresh Linux Mint install from the OEM demo I did a while back. And so what we want to do is we want to go to flathub.org We're going to search for Save Desktop. And we are going to follow the manual install. And we're going to copy commands, run those here. And while we're doing that, we'll jump back to the first Mint machine. And we are going to set up the sync file. URL for synchronization with other computers 172.16.74.238 port 8000 and notice this one with the purple desktop background is the originating computer so once we get things installed on this machine and it looks like we do have them installed now we can run save desktop Minimize Firefox, and we are going to sync, connect with other computer, 238, 8000. Apply. Changes will take effect after the next login. All right, so if at first you don't succeed, try a different method. So I have copied from the first machine over here to the second machine, the mint restore save desktop file. And so we're gonna run save desktop on this machine and see if we can't import it. So we're gonna just say import, import from file, downloads, open and please wait comes up which is a good sign configuration has been applied we're going to log out and when we log back in fingers crossed we've got our background from the first machine restored now i have not found any good information on why the sync between the two computers may not be working but I'm going to keep looking for that and if I should find a good explanation for it then I will let you know. Um, to accomplish what I did it, it was really a two-step process. So on the second machine I installed uh, the SSH server open ssh server and then on the first machine i did a secure copy or scp and i sent that configuration file this guy here uh, to the downloads folder on the second machine for my user and 
then we imported the file and everything worked fine. Now, I can see where this would be useful if you are going to do a OEM deploy and don't want to do all of the configuration before you make your master image, you could then take and use this utility to sync any additional changes to the other computers. Uh, hopefully they'll have that direct sync functionality working soon, uh, or I'll figure out what I might have done wrong. That's gonna bring us to the end of the look at uh, Save Desktop, and hopefully somebody out there will find this useful. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a great day.